in the right place. This is the Eat Fluencer Podcast, and I'm your host, Dr. Maggie Landis. Together, we are going to unpack everything about eating and discover the what, when, and how that will let you lead your best life. This is not your doctor's conversation about nutrition. Today is when you can start to love eating again. Let food be food and you be you. Get ready to get eat fluenced. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Eat Fluencer podcast. I'm so glad you're here, as always. This is episode 61, which I've titled Diet Culture Are Us. And this is going to be just a slightly different format today. I do have a point to the episode. In fact, I have two points. I have two announcements, each that have a little relevant non-diet backstory to them. So stick with me as I get into it. I told you last week I was going to have an announcement, uh, but I actually have two announcements. I didn't want to announce the other announcement till I knew a few things were falling into place, but I've got it all right here. Here we go. Number one, the rest of December. So if you're listening to this in real time, it's December 1st. Um, the rest of December, I'm going to take a little different turn on the podcast and do some like replay, rewind episodes, either reposting some of my popular episodes, possibly if I can figure out how to do it, putting some snippets of me on other guest episodes. Uh, Not sure what the plan is going to be, but guess what I'm doing? Winging it. Ladies, this is the time of year where we need to wing it a little more. You feel that? We are fried, frazzled, holidayed out. Um, Every year, I say to myself, I'm not going to let the end of the year get to me. And then every year, without fail, the end of the year gets to me somehow. But the important thing is that we decide how frazzled and exhausted and fried we let ourselves become. Our to-do list is getting longer The motivation is waning. It's like 4.30 in the afternoon. It's pitch black practically. So this is the moment where we let go of some of our perfectionistic behavior. And I'm talking to myself as much as I'm talking to you, all right? Wing a few things this month. Opt out of some stuff. Cancel some plans. Realize that being flexible and just backing off may make your life better and not worse. So where this is related to the podcast announcement. I started this podcast back in October of 2020. And when I set it up, I didn't start by setting it up with seasons. Note to self, when I start next podcast, start with seasons. Okay. I just decided I'm going to record. I'm going to air the episodes on Wednesdays and I'm going to do it week after week after week after week. Well, so here we are week 61 and mama needs a break mentally I feel like I am on this runaway mind train and in total transparency, like I need a breather. Something has to give or there is going to be a runaway mind train crash. So what I'm doing is taking a break from creating new content in December for the podcast. And I'm sure you're like, that's the announcement. That's really not that exciting, Maggie. Lots of people do that. I know, and that's what I would tell you. But here's the thing, I'm beating myself up because I feel like I need to just power through, dig deeper, you know, stick to the plan, keep going. And I hear myself saying those things and I realize that is coming from diet culture. My podcast behavior is coming from this really deeply ingrained diet culture belief that more, more rigid, more structured, more strict is always better. So, you know, we do this in dieting, right? We do this like a sensible thought about eating and food and movement. I mean, you can have sensible thoughts. That's one of the misnomers is that, you know, people that want to um, practice intuitive eating are like not thinking about food at all. That's not the case at all. So, 
like, it's okay if you realize, you know what, I actually feel a little better physically if I occasionally eat vegetables. And when the weather's nice and I go outside and ride my bike and I have time, then my, my headspace is cleared. And like, good things are good, right? When they make you feel better and you like doing them. Diet culture has this thing where everything has to be a specific way for a certain amount of time, certain days of the week, and you weigh your food, weigh yourself, measure, scrutinize everything, just sucks the pleasure out of food and movement and everything related to that. And you have to track everything and chart everything. And if you break stride for a single moment, then you get a big red X and you've been reset, demoted. It's like, the big diet culture version of shoots and ladders. All right. That's like whole 30. You can't, you know, you don't, if you're on day 16 of whole 30 and you eat something off the plan, tomorrow is not day 17 for you. Tomorrow is day one. All right. And see, that's the whole, that's just an example, but that's the way of thinking is that you are all in or you are all out. So, really in a more sensible universe, podcasting or eating or whatever you're thinking of, like any small amount is good. Like trying to be perfect, which we won't be, is not good. And that's because when we are imperfect, which we will be, we negate any of the benefit of whatever was good. We, we condition ourselves to think this way. And like I said, it's it starts with eating and dieting and managing our bodies and our food, but it rolls over into this perfectionistic, you know, stressful, high anxiety, burnout producing way of thinking. And I realized for myself, I was applying that thinking to creating podcast content with inadvertently doing it. But I, I know that that's where it probably came from is this diet culture training that I have. So I'm going to be a sensible podcaster, which is what I would tell somebody else. You know, if I was talking to somebody else with a podcast, I, you know, if they've got great content to get out into the world, that's great. Every bit of well-planned, well-researched, articulate content that's high energy and engaging and fun is good. If you take a little break, there's lots of, let me just say, there's lots of fantastic podcasts that release every two weeks or once a month, or they take these extended multi-month long breaks several times a year. This is normal. And I know that, but for some reason it's not normal for me. Okay. That's diet culture podcast brain. Must be perfect. Must be weekly. Must be on Wednesdays. Must be the same forever. Must be 30 minutes. Totally inflexible. Doesn't matter how I feel. I need to dig deeper, push harder, don't break stride. All right. But I'll tell you what, that just gets you frazzled in this hustle culture, almost manic mindset. And it's totally counterproductive. So it's it's straight from the diet culture playbook. And I am not going to play by that playbook anymore in any aspect of my life, including the podcast. So that's a really long winded explanation, which I hope you can relate to, but here's the deal for the rest of December. There may or may not be new content. It may or may not be on Wednesdays. There may be replays. There may not be, who knows? Because ladies, there is a place to wing it and this is it, but I promise I will be back and the content will be awesome. I've got great new guests, Um, and some ideas lined up in the queue. Um, So listen, I've got 61 episodes. Spend the next month going back and listening to the old ones that you missed. If you're saying, Maggie, I already listened to all 61, then guess what? I'm not worried about you because you are a faithful follower and you'll be here when I come back. So not worried about that. This brings me to my second, more important, bigger and cooler announcement for this week. So do not hang up or hit end just yet. Okay. Do you like how I said, hang up? Like we're on those old school phones from the 1990s. Um, we spend a lot of time talking about diet culture and the social belief system and the cultural, um, constructs and all these, um, 
kind of big nebulous ideas that are so painfully oppressive and toxic and we hate participating. But the reality we have to face is that collectively, together, we are the diet culture. We are the culture. Diet cultures are us. That's what I titled the episode, okay? It's not a separate thing like a UFO or a hurricane or a torpedo or something that comes to us from the outside and we have to fight back or defend ourselves. It's already here. I liken it to like one of those, um, do y'all remember in elementary school, those big parachute things? They were called parachutes. I don't know if they were actually parachutes from like people that jumped out of planes or it was just what they call it, but that big nylon, huge, huge, huge thing. And so there's like, you know, a hundred first graders holding the edges of this parachute and flapping it around and you run back and forth underneath it. Okay. That's diet culture. We are all in it. We are all blanketed by it. And it is us collectively together holding on to it and flapping it around and lifting it up that keeps it where it is, keeps us in it. Okay. Advertising uses conventionally thin people in their marketing because we buy those products. We see the person that we delusionally think we can and should become and we buy the product. That's the only reason they do that. We asked for it. The food industry puts giant labels all over the packaging about calories and fat content and guilt-free and hearts healthy and all this kind of stuff because we ask them to do it. People are making excuses about what their body looks like all the time and telling each other how they're going to change and how they're going to diet and all this stuff because we've created a system where there's a quote normal correct size equals thin And anybody who's not that size needs to explain how they're going to correct themselves. We use words all the time, just just all over the place. When we're talking to our friends and our kids and we're talking about junk food or health food or, you know, not too much of this or get in shape, controlling the cravings. We buy tummy tamer leggings and all this stuff. That's us. Shaking the parachute and amplifying the diet culture that we all collectively hate, but we are all lifting up, okay? How are we going to change this? Well, it's possible. And I see it happening. I really, really do see it happening. Um, I hope you are starting to see that too. What happens is individual people who want to change this become small groups of people who want to change this, who become entire communities of people who become entire societies of people who want something different and are willing to stand up for it and do what is right and not what is popular, not what is trending, not what is conventional, not what always has been, but are willing to approach this in a new way. So all that being said, here's here's where I'm going with this, okay? If you're working on your non-diet, anti-diet mindset, which If you're listening to me, I assume you probably are. It can be super isolating. And I know that it feels that way even to me, especially this time of year. It's just this constant barrage of, you know, the new year, new you, get back on track, ah, blah, 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 holiday treats, all this kind of stuff. It's really hard to do this work alone. Really hard to do this work alone. But... Here's the big announcement. All right, drum roll. Big announcement, big announcement. You don't have to be alone. You don't have to be alone. For so many of us that do this work, that have done this work for a while, we had to kind of like elbow in and like DIY our own communities, our band of sisters, so that we could see there are other people actually doing this. Because it is a crazy making space when you realize how um, blindfolded we are by diet culture and you want to look at things a different way, but you appear to be the only one looking at things the other way. So, you know, 
I've banded together and uh, found other people in lots of different professions and with lots of backgrounds that are sharing their expertise to start amplifying this mission and moving this anti-diet work into a more prominent position. But there's a lot of heavy lifting and it's a sort of bootstraps kind of adventure with lots of swamp navigation for us that are, you know, kind of pioneers in this. Well, let me tell you what, here's where the announcement comes in today, 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 December 1st, the first day that it is released, there is a one stop place filled, preloaded, pre-populated with 100% weight neutral, body neutral, non-diet experts for you. And you can be part of this community literally today, first to the party, first in line, no more DIY piecemeal trying to figure this out on your own. All right. There is, I wish I invented this y'all. I, I have to say, I'm not taking credit for inventing this. Uh, Jenna Free and Lauren McCauley of the Body Love Society invented this app called Undiet Your Mind. Undiet Your Mind. That's the name of it. And I was invited to be one of a um, group of featured content creators and and professionals who work in the non-diet space. And this is a membership community. All right. There's a desktop version. If you like using your computer, there's a mobile version for Apple or Android. This is like a community filled with doctors, dietitians, body image coaches, psychologists, intuitive eating counselors, fitness professionals, body lib activists, sociologists, eating disorder specialists, mindfulness coaches, uh, yoga instructors, you know, Hayes, uh, health at every size educators, um, specialists in menopause, fertility, diabetes, all this stuff, all women, all women, all the experts are women, all the, um, community is women in one place, totally inclusive, no spam, no ads, no diet culture, no weight loss garbage in this community. It's like a really good Facebook experience without having to go on Facebook. Okay. You can follow people, you can follow content, you can comment. There are ways to set notifications for live experiences that will be happening. Um, and whole archive of non-diet resources. And you can search by creator. You can search by topic. You can search by release date. Um, all audio, new content all the time. And a variety of um, forms. There's one, two minute long meditations. There's m- multi Um, episode series and mini courses that are hours long. So whether you have a minute or two or 10 or 45 or six hours, there's stuff for you. All right. I mean, I honestly, I'm so thrilled about this, not just to be one of the featured content experts, but as a consumer, because this non-diet work, even for us that do the work, is still very much countercultural and against the grain. And we need a community uh, as much as you do to establish a new reality. Because like I said, the culture are us, diet culture are us, but we can make it the non-diet culture are us if we want to. We want to learn all this stuff, but not just hear it. We want to incorporate it and strategize our approach to food, body image, eating, exercise, um, so that we can participate in a new culture and make it what we want to be. We can echo it to our communities, teach our kids. So as an individual, you can escape the diet culture narrative if you work hard enough, but in a community, we can change the parachute shaking. That's the big picture. And this app, I'm I'm giddy. I'm just literally so giddy because it releases today. So I hope that you'll consider participating in this opportunity. It is going to be such a cool place. You can meet other people that are doing the work like you. You can interact with dozens and dozens of anti-diet professionals in one place. Um, 
You don't have to worry about new ads and all that garbage floating around. So cool. And it is a paid community, but y'all get this $10 a month, $10, $10 a month. Or I think they, they even have an annual price that's like 65 or $66 or something. That is it. That is it. So there is no financial reason not to join. There is no, you know, there's just no reason not to join. Okay. The link uh, is in the show notes for this podcast episode. You can also just go to the app store on your phone to the Undiet Your Mind app. And the little icon is like a pale pink color with a kind of pencil sketch of a woman's face. And if you put in when you are going to sign up, my name, all caps, all run together, Maggie Landis, M-A-G-G-I-E-L-A-N-D-E-S, you'll get 50% off your first month. So you can join this month for five bucks. No kidding. Um, And I'll be honest, this is an affiliate uh, code for me. So it does give me a little bit of credit at no cost to you. And I really appreciate if you um, support me in this way, support the opportunity here and let it support you. Like we want to be part of a community that changes other communities. This is it. This is it. Okay. So in closing, here's the deal. Number one, don't be perfect. I am aiming for imperfection. Boom. Winging it. And I'm starting with this podcast. (laughs) So stick with me. Just put it on auto download. You'll catch up with me eventually. Okay. Number two, go to the show notes or go to your app store and join the Undiet Your Mind app immediately. Immediately. Like today. It's open today. You can be the first one to show up at the party. Uh, Maggie Landis, all one word is the code you need to get your discount. And let's not make diet culture RS. Let's make anti-diet culture, non-diet culture, the diet culture takedown RS. All right. Surround yourself with the reality that you want to be a part of. All right. So I'm really, really, really looking forward to this. And I hope you will join me on the Undiet Your Mind app. I hope you will continue to come back and listen to more episodes of the Eat Fluencer podcast. And I hope you enjoy your December. And don't let the stress, frazzled mania uh, wreck the experiences that you have the opportunity to be part of this month. All right. Happy holidays. Happy New Year, and we will talk soon. Until next time. Thank you so much for being here today. If you love what you've learned, follow me on social media at Maggie Landis MD, and you'll never miss a thing. You can also check out my website at MaggieLandisMD.com and sign up to be part of our community of eaters. Thanks again for stopping by. We'll talk again soon.